back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the autoload trailer for the pallets which has finally come out on console. PC players have had it for a while, console players haven't. But today is the day it's available so I'm going to go and grab one and show you what it's all about. So first up I'm just down at the shop, I'm going to speak to Sandra behind the counter. Sandra how you doing? Let's have a look at this magazine. Now to buy, you have to go into the mods to download, this I've already downloaded it. Go into your trucks, and at the very end you see three new TLXs. I'm going to choose just for this one the CMS, just different engine types. I'm going to go for the CMS. Just wait for that to load. There we go. And once you have the TL, uh, TLX Phoenix CMS... At the top where it says configuration, just go across, there's quite a few configurations, so obviously you can use this for other things, which is brilliant. But keep going across if you want the auto load trailer, until you see rigid times two. That's the only one that will do the auto load trailer, from my knowledge. So rigid two, we'll get this bought, and then we need to go back to... You think it may be in trailers, but it isn't. It's actually in miscellaneous at the bottom. Click in miscellaneous, go right to the end, and you'll see the TLX auto loads. There's mini bales, there's bales, and there's this one in the middle. You can see all the symbols of everything it will hold. Four and a half thousand. This is the auto load trailer for your pallets. Just choose how you want it to look wood or metal for this. I'm just going to choose wood. Get that purchased. And then, out we go, and we'll go and jump in it. A nice little feature, I didn't actually notice it had the door shut, that's nice. So what you're going to do is you're just going to reverse up to your trailer. It will prompt you to connect it when you get close enough. You'll hit X. And it'll jump in the air and connect. And there you have it. You've got your auto load trailer. But I do want to say one thing about it. I I was using it for about 10 minutes before I realised that you can't actually load multiple uh, different types of produce. It does take all your produce, but not at the same time. So I'll go down to my main farm and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are, I've noticed for it to prompt you to, well, to start taking the produce, I find it easier to actually reverse up to it. It seems to be the back end, anywhere else doesn't seem to work, it's only the back end, so I just reverse up to my produce. But as you can see, in the bottom right hand corner, I'll just drop a little arrow in, a thousand litres. Now I'm going to go over to my honey pallet, reverse up towards this, wait for it to prompt, it does take a bit of manoeuvring sometimes to get it right come on, there we go now we've got 76 litres of honey but our lettuce has completely disappeared and it's not gone back to where it was, so it's just gone it's gone from the game now I filled up with lettuce and then went over to eggs and luckily I'd only just saved it so I could jump back but I realised that it was taking my produce off me so just be wary of that, I'm going to show you again with eggs and then I'll go round the back and do another batch of eggs so you can see what I mean. So honey here, we've lost us lettuce, we're now doing eggs which means we've now lost us honey as well. So I'm going to jump round to the back where the other eggs are. Again loaded towards the back end just by reversing up, seems to be the only way it works. But yeah it's brilliant really. A really good addition. Thank you for the people who made it. Absolutely brilliant. I'll add them to the description. But yeah, it will auto load, so it's handy for me because if you've got a farm, mainly mines eggs and lettuce at the moment. So I'll just be able to do a, a big batch of lettuce, get it down to the shop, come back, do eggs. You can swap interchange, it just won't do it at the same time. So just a little word of warning. But there you go, five minute tutorial again. Thank you very much, and hopefully I'll see you on my No Man's Land series. 
Cheers, everyone. See you later.